Hello. Uh, I made one of these little uh, Supercat uh, can stoves, and uh, I want to do a little experiment. Uh, the only kind of unique thing I did is I put in a carbon felt ring inside, and I wanted to see if it increased the burn time on one of these stoves, if it made it faster. So I, I set up a little experiment in my garage, and uh, that's what we're going to look at today. Uh, this may be the third or fourth one of these little... Uh, can stoves that I've put together. Most of them um, I put out a make out of tuna cans instead of the usual fancy feast cat food can. First of all, I don't have a cat, um, so I'm not going to buy uh, uh, cat food uh, if I can buy some uh, something else. And I also like the wider base. I think they're more stable, uh, at least for my purposes. Uh, the the cat the fancy feast can seem a little small to me like the not so much surface touching the ground and so I don't think there's as much stability anyway this uh, as I said is about the third of these stoves I've made and uh, I, uh, <laughs> you see my stopwatch come into frame as you can see it's, it's very scientific what I'm doing incredibly incredibly precise uh, this uh, precision you know is the name of the game in these uh, burn tests anyway uh, this one I've made with uh, two rows of holes but the, the smaller holes on the bottom and this is so that I can put more uh, fuel in the can because the the lower down the holes go uh, that's about as high up as you can fill fuel in the can I have about an ounce of heat in this one and I have about two cups of water uh, in this pot sitting on top of it it didn't take very long to bloom um, uh, actually you, you can barely see it if you look closely but the the fuel is coming out of the jets, so to speak. It's coming out of the, the holes. And uh, when I've done this in the past, the um, the tuna fish stove can is uh, pretty good at boiling water over maybe six and a half to seven minutes, uh, usually around seven minutes. So this test is basically to see if it can go a little bit faster. If the carbon felt uh, that's drenched with the fuel on the inside that you know really does anything um, I punched the holes with a hole punch and uh, then I drilled the, the smaller bottom holes uh, aesthetically I am not yet really good with the drill and making the the uh, the holes really round and, and precise because um, you know precision is the name of the game anyway going on about four minutes as you can see also I have a burn plate down it's just a, a piece of a cookie tray that I've cut in a circle I use it with my hobo stove most of the time almost there so it's starting to heat up almost at a boil almost at a boil and it looks pretty good the the flame looks pretty good right here I'm I'm pleased with how this little stove came out to tell the truth right, let's take one more look at the stopwatch Ooh, we just passed the six minute mark uh, let's take a little little look in here and boom rolling boil pretty good pretty good so that's uh, a little bit quicker I would say <laughs> in a very unscientific way that's about 30 to 40 seconds um, faster roughly than uh, without the carbon felt inside um, so that, that that turned out all right that turned out all right I realized I had some metal shavings um, from when I filed the can that I hadn't quite washed out completely and that's what's causing the yellow flames to occur anyway that's the test um, overall pretty pleased with how it turned out pretty pleased with how it turned out yeah you can take a good look in here um, the felt itself didn't didn't really burn um, the stoves intact and everything but you can see the little little the little specks that's from a uh, some metal filings that didn't quite get get washed out which I have since done so here's a little bonus for you uh, when I cut the top off this can um, I use one of those can openers that made the side smooth so I made this uh, top of the can since I had it laying around I thought I'll make a simmer uh,
cap out of it. And so I cut it with a Dremel and I put uh, one of those little bulldog clip uh, wires in it. Anyway, I put it on top of the uh, <laughs> the stove, the Super Cat stove, and I uh, it did it did kind of do a similar effect. I, I realized, but immediately as soon as I put the pot on, I understood that I had made an engineering blunder uh, <laughs> because of that little bulldog clip wire. The uh, the pot's not going to sit flat on top of the stove. Um, and it also dawned on me that this particular kind of stove doesn't need this particular kind of uh, simmer cap. Uh, it doesn't make much difference uh, since uh, once you put the pot on, it covers the same area as what the simmer cap would do. So anyway, uh, and I like goofing around with these um, little homemade projects. So, you know, you live, you learn, and uh, I thought I'd put it on, I thought I'd put it here at the end of the the video so you could see it. Think of it as sort of a special features blooper. <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks for watching.